Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we're gonna make this easy and simple exercise for beginners in SolidWorks. This is how it's going to look at the end. And first we'll have to open a new SolidWorks document, select here part and press here OK. We'll make this plane white so we can see it better. And now we'll open a sketch in the front plane. And here we'll start with line and we'll make the next sketch. Just like this and now we'll select a center line and let's make one vertical. Like this and now select all of this and go to mirror entities command. Click on it and everything should be mirrored on this other side. And now with smart dimension let's give some dimensions. First from this line to this one here will be 15. Everything will be in millimeters. And now this other line here should have also 15. So from this one, this one, 15. Okay, and now let's give a dimension from this line to this one. And here will be 140. And up will be 130 and we'll add 50 in 15 so 145 okay now this is the first sketch code features and use extruded boss base command and here instead of blind we'll select mid plane and here will be 110 is it okay Nice, and now let's open a sketch on this face. And here, let's make the next sketch. We'll start with line. And we'll make just like this. We'll go up, back here, down, like this. Select this line and this edge and select here, make a liner and select these two points and make them horizontal and now with smart dimension let's give a dimension from this point to this edge and here will be 65 and now we'll select circle and let's make here a circle oops Okay, select this circle with this edge and select here make tangent. And now we'll select this point with this one and select here make vertical. And now with smart dimension, let's give a diameter to this. And the radius will be 20, so the diameter will be 40. Okay, and now select center point arc. Let's make an arc something like this and now select this point and select this and let's try here to make it coincident and now select this point with this line let's see if it's working with tangent and then we should find this point Let's see if we can make it to coincide with this other point from our line. And now this, let's try to make it tangent also. And this is looking pretty good. Now let's select center line. Let's make here a center line, make it vertical. And now we'll have to select this arc and we'll have to select also this center line and select here mirror and this command. Perfect. And now we'll have to make another circle. So select circle again. Place it in the center of this one and the diameter will be 20 millimeters. That's good. And now we'll go to features and use extruded cut. We'll have to select the contours we want to cut. 
will be this uh, circle, this small one, this side with this one. And here at instead of blind, we'll select through all. Press OK. Nice. And now let's let's open a sketch on this face. And here we'll select circle. We'll make a circle. This circle will have the diameter 36 millimeters. Now go to features, use extruded cut. And here we'll select through all. Press OK. OK, and now we'll open another sketch on this face again. And here we'll make another circle. Something like this. And uh, then select convert entities command. Select this edge from the hole. Press OK. And now let's give a diameter to this one. This one will have the diameter 30 millimeters. And now we'll go to features. We'll use extruded boss base command. And here the thickness. Instead of mid plane, we'll select blind. And here will be 5 millimeters. Okay. And now we'll select direction 2. For direction 2, we need this 15. And we'll add extra 5. So it will be 20. 20. And this is good. Press OK. Now we have 5 on this side and 5 on, the, on this other side. Now we'll have to mirror this on this other side. So we'll go to linear pattern up here. We'll select mirror. We have to select here mirror face plane. We'll select right plane and then uh, features to mirror will be this boss extruded. Press it OK. Now we have it on the other side. Now what we'll have to do is to select this face to open a sketch. And here select convert entities command. Select this edge from this hole. Press OK. And now select circle and let's make another circle. This one will have the diameter 60 millimeters. So it's smart dimension. We'll have to make it 60. Go to features. Use extruded boss base command. And the thickness will be also 5. Press OK. That's good. This is almost done. Now we'll have to make two ribs. One on this side and one on this other side. And for this we'll have to make two extra sketches. So we can either first select rib. And we'll have to select the face or plan to make the sketch in. We'll select front plane. And select line. Make a line like this. And with smart dimension, let's give a dimension from this point to this edge. And here will be 15. OK. And now from this edge to this point, it will be 85. And now exit this sketch and we can see the rib menu is opening up. Now here we'll keep this one, both sides, the thickness. The thickness will be 10 millimeters. And we must be careful this arrow to go like this. Is it okay? Nice. And the other way to make this rib is to first open a sketch in the front plane. Make the sketch. Okay, this one should coincide with this age. And now it's smart dimension. Let's give a dimension here. 15. Or we can use mirror entities command and we can make a mirror and it will be faster so you can either do that and now exit this sketch go to rib and we can see that this sketch is selected and now we'll have to reverse here the direction because we can see that the arrow is going this other way so we'll have to select here flip material side press ok now we also have 
the ribs. Now this is almost done, we'll have to apply a fillet. So select fillet, the radius will be 5 millimeters for all the fillets. 5 and we'll select this one and let's see which one from this is going to be okay for us. If we have one. If not, we'll have to select all of the edges one by one. And this one, the last one should be the one we need because it's covering all of the edges we want to add fillet so we'll have to select it we can see here all the edges you should have 21 so yeah if you don't have that option there select each of these edges one by one so radius 5 press here ok now this is it this is the this is the tutorial for today this is the exercise thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one